Wide Open Outdoor Adventures with your host, Dave Baltier. We'll make you a better sportsman. Subscribe to the Wide Open Sportsman YouTube channel today. Hello, I'm Dave Valtiero with Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. On this segment, I'm going to show you how I rig my personal bass fishing kayak to GoPro video myself. Now, I didn't learn this on my own. I went on YouTube, and there's hundreds, if not thousands, of videos there that other guys have put out there and show how to use multiple GoPro cameras to film yourself, and then they like to edit it and put something cool together for their archive. Of course, on Wide Open Outdoor Adventures, we use multiple GoPro cameras with awesome audio setups to make TV shows. I'm going to show you some of the gear, some of the ways that I set up this wilderness 10-foot kayak. First, I'm going to show you the bow of this boat and what I've done to make it unique. I started by putting a GoPro in a rod holder mounted here on a flexible mount. Then as we move back, I've got all kinds of little boxes like this to put things in and they can go in these hatches so that I'm able to put dry storage in place. When I release a fish, I've got this GoPro camera and it's got a handle so I can put this camera underwater. I've got the seal back and I can video the release. I sometimes will want to hook up these, this is an anchor, these big portable batteries. I can run a battery backpack on a GoPro all day long with one of these batteries. They also come in a version called the GoPro Puck. So that gets me set up up to this bow portion. I then make sure that I've got a nice portable anchor with a chain. So that sets me up for anchoring up as I move down the river, down the lake. Then I've also got a graphite paddle, really high-end graphite paddle, very, very light. I can actually paddle with one arm, and that definitely makes me more stealthy, and I can move to where the fish are. As we move to the back of the boat, let's talk about this seat. This seat has a lot of adjustments. It's got an adjustment here in the middle. It's got adjustments on the sides, and you can actually lower and raise the back of the seat by pulling this cable right here. So this is a very adjustable seat, and when you fish for long hours, that makes a big difference. Next, let's look at the back section of the boat. We're now talking about how I rigged the seat back, the back section of the boat. On the stern of the boat, you have a compartment or a hatch, an opening area on these sit-on top kayaks. And in there, I put a milk crate. A milk crate is, you can get one actually from a milk company, but these are made for kayaks, so they fit perfectly in that hatch. So inside here, I mounted some rod holders on the side at angle that I chose. I also mounted a PVC pipe and painted it where I've got my rear GoPro rig with my awesome, awesome audio mic. And then also I've got all my gear inside. So let me show you what I put in the milk crate. Personally, it's all about choice, but at the end of the day, you're gonna to wanna to be kind of miniaturized and kind of self-contained on a kayak. So let's go item by item do what I have in the milk crate. All right, first thing I always have with me, sunscreen. I keep it in a bag because I don't wanna get sunscreen on my lures or on anything else. I also am always gonna have extra Gatorade or extra water. I sometimes will put that in the bow of the boat too. Now, time to go through the fun stuff. This is my frogs and my crankbaits. So I'm going to organize all my lures in a fashion so that I can find them quickly and I've also got a great assortment right here on the boat. Now as we move through the other things I have, I'm going to carry a bag or a box actually in this case of just weights for my plastics. So they're there. And then I've got each box organized with some jigs, some spinner baits, some different crank baits. But I got to show you my favorite, and I've got like four boxes with these. I catch more fish on Texas rig worms than I catch on anything else. So these worms are dynamite. Rigged Carolina with these weights that I put back and these colors. You really, really can match the color to what the fish are eating, and you will catch more fish. So let's now move to the GoPro rig on the back. 
you know, I never really thought I was going to get into kayak fishing because I've had $80,000 bay boats. But, you know, it's a different setup when you're in a kayak because you're mono we mono and stealth. I want to show you the GoPro rig that I put on the back of this boat. It's actually a PVC pipe that I put on the back of the milk crate. I had to choose this height by experimentation. I have a, a frame mount for a GoPro, which is an aftermarket purchase. I then put a 52 millimeter polarized lens. So it's getting you the same look you have through your Costa Del Mar polarized glasses. But I didn't stop there because GoPros have a weakness. They have awesome, awesome video, but the audio is a little hole in the top of the GoPro. Ah, but no more. I found a port on the side of the GoPro that would accept a shotgun microphone. And I mounted this awesome shotgun mic so that I can get great audio. And what I do is I kind of sit side saddle in the kayak with my feet in the water, raise up the bass, show them to the camera. I can actually pivot this camera around to get me different angles. And then I'm getting excellent audio as well. Then I use my GoPro camera that I have on my handheld mount to film the fish swimming off. I've made sure to seal it so this thing floats and at the end of the day I'm able to film bass fishing in South Texas. Some of these lakes are just loaded with big bass and I can sneak up on them with a 10-foot tarpon wilderness kayak. I hope you learned a few things on this segment. I love to get into that stealth water and you know what I can put this in the back of my truck and off I go by myself to film and make wide open outdoor adventures television shows. That's where I'm heading right now. I think I'm going just around the corner here in Bandera. Find me a lake, catch some bass. I'll see you next time. Special thanks to our amazing sponsors. We couldn't do what we do without them. Visit WideOpenSportsman.com every day for your daily fix of adrenaline. Just get out there. You know, it's always wide open.